Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the San Diego Comic Con 2018 exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 movie box set from NECA Toys. That is right, my friends. This is an announcement I have been waiting for, and I've been pestering Randy at NECA about four years. I was a big fan of the amazing movie sculpts they did in the quarter scale, and I have always wanted to see them shrink them down to the seven inch scale, and they have finally been able to do it with this brand new box set. And as you can see, they come in a pretty amazing box. The box resembles the old VHS cassette tape. How cool is that? It looks just like the old VHS copy I had as a kid, and I'm sure anybody my age will reminisce over this box and just remember watching this movie on repeat. It's a very, very cool box design, but on the back is something even more special, at least for me. You see, the back looks just like the old VHS box, but instead of quotes about the movie, they put quotes on there about their quarter-scale Turtles figures and top billing? That's right. I am quoted right there on the back of the box. Holy cow, I had no idea that was going to happen until I got this set in the mail, and I'll be honest, I'm totally geeking out over it. This is awesome. Thank you, NECA Toys. So there's a slip cover here that just removes to reveal the window box underneath, showcasing all four Ninja Turtles action figures, as well as all of the accessories inside. It's a really cool presentation, a wonderful box that NECA has once again graced us with. They do a great job with our packaging every year, but let's go ahead and get these guys pulled out of the box and get a closer look at the figures. So if you've been picking these figures up in the quarter scale, the sculpts look very familiar. They do look just like those sculpts shrunken down, although they did include some new articulation and such in here. And there's a little bit of a difference with stuff like the bandanas, and we're going to go over all of that. But first things first, let me bring in the tape measure here. So you can see that the figures measure almost a full 7 inches in height. Uh, so they're not quite a full seven inches, but they are the perfect scale. This is exactly what I've always wanted to see these particular sculpts brought down to. And the sculpts are amazing. Just get a closer look at these guys and you can see how wonderful the folks at NECA were able to make these guys look just like the characters straight out of the film. These things are mind blowing and they retained all of the details from those quarter scale figures. My quote on that box said that these are just the best likenesses ever in action figure form of the 1990 movie Turtles and these new seven inch figures are still exactly that. Uh, they look just like the Jim Henson suits. It's amazing looking at these things in person. The textures on the skin, the amazing details, the way that the eyes have a little bit of a shine to them. They're just very cool looking action figures. The overall builds are really nice at this scale. The figures all feel very solid and very durable, which is something that is really, really great. And they do feature a decent amount of articulation. So let me go ahead and show that off. I'm gonna move all these guys down to the back here. And Raphael's gonna be our little guinea pig to show the articulation. As you can see, that head is on a ball joint there, right at the top of the neck, the base of the head. So you can roll the head all the way around, move the head left, move the head right. Good range of motion there. Got those ball-like hinge joints there at the shoulders. The arms can go upwards, although the sculpt does prevent them from going a little higher than that. You can move them forwards and backwards there. Good range of motion. You can swivel above the elbow as well as below the elbow, and the elbows are double-jointed. The uh, elbow pad is a separate piece that is put over that joint, which does a great job of hiding the articulation point. It hinders the articulation a bit, but as you can see, still a really good range of motion there. You can swivel the wrists, and there's also the hinge joints, allowing you to hinge the hands up and down. Now, the shell here is all solid plastic, but worth noting is underneath the shell, there's actually a nice ball joint at the torso there. So look at this. You can actually rotate the body around underneath the shell, something that we don't see a lot of times on Ninja Turtles figures. They are usually solid sculpts in the body, so this is pretty cool. You can see they got the ball-like hinge joints there at the thighs. You can see good range of motion there. So legs can go outwards, forwards, and backwards. And you can also swivel there at the thigh. Now the leg joints are very tight. I, none of them were stuck, which is really good, but they are really tight compared to the rest of the joints. But that's definitely gonna be good for posing and standing the figure up. 
You got the same double joints at the knees as we do at the elbows, and again, the knee pad kind of hides that joint. It's still a good range of motion, though it's going to hinder it just a little bit, but not too bad. Look at that. It works really well. And then you got the nice hinges at the ankles. So look at that. The feet can move up and down, as well as slightly rock side to side. You can see we got a little bit of a rocker going on there as well, so that is really nice. So there is a good range of articulation with these guys. You should be able to pose them. They all stand nice and solid. There's no loose joints, and the figure feels nice and solid. Like I said, nothing feels brittle or like it's going to break. So very, very nicely done. Oh, another detail I should definitely point out with these guys. Well, the sculpts are great, and I pointed that out. And if you've watched my quarter scale reviews, this is, might be some duplicated information. The legs and the arms and the torsos all appear to be very similar. They're probably shared parts between the figures. But the turtle shells, you can see, are all unique for the figures. They're kind of styled a little bit different. You can see there's lots of scratches on Raphael's. Uh, Mikey's is a little more clean with a little bit of a different paint deco. So that is a really nice way to kind of distinguish them all from one another. And, of course, the head sculpts are all very different because they have you know it really captures their personalities there really really cool likenesses and then they're wearing different belts as well uh, Donnie and Leo both kind of have those higher up belts since they've got the straps while Raph and Mikey have the lower set belts and all of their belts do holster their weapons in different ways which is very cool so of course each of the turtles comes with their signature weapons so let me just show you real quick here with Leo you can all house those weapons right there in the scabbards on the back of the shell, which is very nice. With Raphael, he's got the little pouches here on the front of his belt, so you can plug in his size. Of course, all the weapons are nicely detailed there. You can see good paint deco on those. Donatello's bow staff. Now, on the quarter scale figure, he actually had little ribbons that were tied on these spots right here that held onto his bow staff. Those ribbons are not included on the smaller figure, but the slits are there. So I guess if you wanted to, you could put your own little rope on there to tie the bow staff that way. I did notice that this actually is a little loose, so you could fit the bow staff long ways through there if you still wanted to store it on his back, but it's missing the ribbons like the quarter scale figure. And then with Mikey's nunchucks here, you can see they're made with rope in between the chucks. So he just has some extra room on the sides of his belt, and you can just kind of store the chucks right there on the side of his belt. So all of them can holster their weapons, and of course they come with these gripping hands here, which hold onto the weapons very nicely. In addition to that, they come with some interchangeable pieces. The first thing I want to talk about is the bandanas. You see on the quarter scale figures, the back part of the bandana was actually made of a cloth material, so you can kind of hang that or display it however you wanted to. This time around, we've got these plastic bandanas, but each turtle comes with interchangeable pieces. So for example, with Mikey here, you'll notice we've got a bandana that's currently just kind of laying over his left shoulder. If I wanted to swap that out, it's just on a little peg. I can just kind of pop this right out of the back, just like so, and I can attach a new bandana piece Got to give it a nice press there, and we can get it popped right into the socket. There we go, just like that. And now we've got this new bandana here that's kind of more outwards here. And of course, you can pose that around however you want to. So if you want to swivel it to the sides or anything like that, you could do that as well. So this is kind of neat because it gives you different options for displaying the bandana there. Um, you can have them, you know, kind of laying off to the side. Uh, here, let's check Raphael. So we can pop the one out of Raphael's back. We can pop in this new one here. And now we've got a bandana that's kind of more billowing out to the side. So that's pretty cool. It gives you a couple of different options for swapping in and out on the bandanas, giving you some different posing options with the turtles. The other thing we've got going on here is a bunch of interchangeable hands. And this again is very similar to what we saw with the quarter scale figures. All of the figures come with the gripping hands already attached so that they can hold on to their weapons. But there's a different mixture of parts here that can be shared between all of the turtles. So in addition, we have a pair of pointing fingered hands. We have a pair of open palmed hands, which is perfect for holding on to the pizza box. I'll show you in just a bit. We've got a pair of the thumbs up hands, and we've got a pair of these looser gripping hands. So it's very easy to kind of interchange these, and you can use them and mix and match them between all of the figures here. They're just on little pegs, so if you give a nice little tug there, you'll pop the hand out of socket, and in its place, you can easily pop the new hand in place. And just like that, we got Mikey doing a thumbs up. So mixing and matching all of these parts here uh, will allow you different ways that you can display the figures holding their weapons or just interacting with one another. And to help you with that interchangeability even more, there's a couple more accessories here, including the mutagen canister. 
This is a wonderful accessory. I always love getting little mutagen canisters to put with my smaller Ninja Turtles figures. Beautifully painted, has the TCRI logo on one side. You can see the nice crack there from where it leaked in the sewers. Uh, it looks a lot like NECA's prop replica, but shrunk down. Very nice accessory. And you can use that looser gripping hand to kind of hold onto it with your turtles, so very cool. And then there's the pizza box. Now in the box, there's four slices of pizza, but if you really don't want to miss this because this pizza box is taped to the bottom of the plastic insert and it actually has more slices of pizza inside. Look at this. This is an actual little cardboard box with the Domino's logo on there. Although it says tile game pizza. How hilarious is that? Nice way to avoid copyright right there. Uh, but it's a little cardboard box and when you open it up, not only are there eight slices of pizza inside to make a full slice of pizza, but the details are amazing. Look at this, there's fake grease stains inside the box to make it look like the pizza put grease stains in it. And there's like a little coupon in here. Look, it's like a special offer survey on a piece of paper. That is amazing. Just the amount of details they put here are fantastic and of course, Posing your turtles with the pizza, super fun. It's just a really cool additional accessory for this set. So I keep talking about the quarter scale figure, so let's go ahead and put old Michelangelo here alongside his quarter scale counterpart, just so you can see the huge size difference between these guys. But you can see that they are very similar in their overall sculpt and design. And while we're showing these guys next to other figures, it's comparison time. So these guys are based on the original movie. So let's start by showing them alongside the movie star turtles released back when the original movie came out from Playmates Toys. I love the old movie star turtles and it's kind of amazing looking at them next to these new figures that are much more movie accurate. And of course, we've got to do this because just a few years ago, Playmates Toys came out with their six inch versions of the movie figures. And it's kind of amazing looking at them next to the NECA figures. And here's another comparison time that I definitely want to do. I want to show these guys off with some of the other offerings from NECA Toys, such as last year's San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, which was based on the original cartoon series, and one of my all-time favorites, the Mirage comic book Turtles. And this shot right here shows you four sets of my absolute favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures all from NECA toys. We got the original Mirage comics, we got the original cartoon series, we've got the video game, and now the 1990 movie Turtles. They look amazing, and it's pretty spectacular seeing all these different genres of Turtles done in spectacular action figure form from the folks over at NECA toys. So there you guys go, there is an early look at the new San Diego Comic-Con 2018 exclusive box set featuring the movie Turtles in that smaller 7-inch scale. These are sort of a dream come true for me. They are wonderful action figures. The quality is great. The sculpting is amazing. The accessories are so much fun. And these are going to look fantastic up on my shelf with all my other different variations of the Ninja Turtles. So these are going to be sold at San Diego Comic-Con, but NECA is also offering pre-orders through the NECA store online. I will put a link in the video description. They are going up for pre-order on June 6th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time and again on June 7th and again on June 8th. There's an allotment for each day. The price for these is $125 per set, limited to per household. There's 5,000 total available. Hopefully everybody will have a chance to grab these if they want them. So get on their store, mark your calendars. You don't want to miss the sale. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching this video. I gotta give a special thanks to NECA Toys for sending this along so I can get a good look at it early before its release. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, my friends.